friends i am krishna kanjani from lg institute of engineering and technology welcome to the online lecture series on kinematics and theory of motion in this session we will learn about graphical synthesis okay now synthesis means design of any new mechanism or a machine okay now this design can be done either by analytical method or by graphical method so in this session we will learn about how we can graphically synthesize any mechanism okay so this graphical synthesis can be done by two method that is inversion method and relative pole method so over here we will learn by relative pole method okay now what does mean by a relative pole so simply let's consider a four bar mechanism which is having initial positions as a b1 c1 and d okay so this dark line which is representing the first position of your four bar mechanism now second condition that is a b2 c2 d position okay so now in this mechanism if we refer that the link number 3 if we consider the motion of link number 3 then it is from b1 c1 to b2 c2 okay so now if you uh, particularly focus on this link number 3 then this motion of link number 3 can be considered about a rotation about a fixed point okay so simply we can consider this motion of any of the link can be considered as a pure rotation and this pure rotation will be considered about any of the fixed point so over here if you consider this one p as a fixed point uh, so about this pole point this link number 3 is rotating okay so in this way we will identify different poles of n uh, of different links and with the help of this pole we will design the mechanism okay so now this is the basic fundamental of relative pole method now over here we will use two type of method that is two position synthesis and three position synthesis now in two position synthesis we will have data of two positions that is uh, if we refer this figure then over here we will refer that from b1 c1 to b2 c2 this one is known as the first and second position okay so this one is known as a one two position okay similarly if we consider that after some time this link number three is reaching to the third position like this which is term which can be termed as a b3 and c3 then this b3 c3 if we refer about our initial position then this reference point can be considered as a 1 3 position that is the posi third position with respect to the first position okay so in this way if we consider these three different position and with the help of these three positions if we design the mechanism then it is known as a three position synthesis okay so in our previous session we have learned the two position synthesis now in this session we will learn three position synthesis of four bar mechanism okay so now how we will consider the data so let's consider that we are uh, we have a different data such that the link l1 l2 l3 and l4 this is the basic diagram of four bar mechanism okay so over here which type of data we will have that is length of link number one link number two link number three and link number four okay so now if you consider that the initial angle that the input angle if you consider as data as angle theta and the output angle if you considered as a phi angle okay so these are the basic position or uh, basic data okay now while we are uh, designing any mechanism so over that uh, in the beginning we will have only two lengths that is initial length of l1 and l2 and with the help of this l1 and l2 we have to calculate link number three length and link number four length okay if they have given the data that input angle theta then with the help of this theta we can find the value of phi okay so over here in three position synthesis they will give us input data as l1 and l2 that is the length of link number one and link number two then they will give data for three different positions first that is the theta angle initial angle we can consider that the in angle for the or the data for the first position 
then we will consider that it is moving with certain angle like and it is reaching to this position so this one is known as a theta 1 2 that is the angle between the first and second position that is theta 1 2 okay similarly for third position over here if you refer theta 1 3 so now if they have given data such that your link is rotating with another angle and it is obtaining this position so now if we refer if we measure the angle from the first position then it is termed as theta 1 3 okay so now over here in this mechanism they have given the length of l1 and l2 link then they have given the initial position that is theta theta 1 2 and theta 1 3 with the help of this data another we have to calculate the data of output angle that is phi length of link number 3 and link number 4 okay so to obtain the position of your output link they have given two data for your output angle that is phi 1 2 and phi 1 3 similarly if we consider that due to the rotation if the phi angle is moving or we can say the link number 4 is moving with two different positions like this then these angles are termed as phi 1 2 and phi 1 3 okay so now let's start the three position synthesis for four bar mechanism okay so over here if we consider that the initial length l1 is given so let's draw a horizontal line which is representing the l1 length and this is giving us two different points that is point a and point b okay now this one is representing the l1 length which is our length number one now second data we have to consider the theta 1 2 by 2 and theta 1 3 by 2 okay so now we have to consider this data okay if you consider theta 1 2 and theta 1 3 now we are familiar that theta 1 2 is the angle between one and sec first and second position of input link and similarly theta 1 3 is the angle between the first and third link okay so over here we have to consider that theta 1 2 by 2 and theta 1 3 by 2 okay take data from these angles and draw a line which is inclined with this horizontal line and making an angle of theta 1 2 by 2 over here if you consider for the first case then it is theta 1 2 by 2 okay and we have to sketch this line with a dash line similarly for theta 1 3 by 2 okay again measure from your horizontal line as a reference and if you consider that uh, let's consider that you are obtaining theta 1 3 by 2 dimensions like this okay so over here you have to sketch another dash line which is representing theta 1 3 okay similarly let's consider for phi 1 2 okay so phi is the output angle over here okay so we have uh, learned that phi is the output angle so phi 1 2 that is the first and second position of output link okay so we have to measure from this point d if you consider this one as your reference line or the horizontal line okay so now with respect to this horizontal line you have to sketch for phi 1 2 by 2 okay so measure the angle phi 1 2 by 2 and let's consider that we are obtaining this much angle that is phi 1 2 by 2 okay so draw a dash line which is representing phi 1 2 by 2 and intersecting over here and similarly for phi 1 3 by 2 okay so let's consider phi 1 3 by 2 and again measure from your horizontal line and if you are obtaining phi 1 3 by 2 angle like this so from this angle you have uh, draw a line which is passing from b and intersecting over here which will give you position number pole number three okay so this one is known as a pole number one two that is position one two and this one is known as a pole number one three that is position for first reference to the third okay so in this way we can sketch the lines if you consider uh, the proper sketch then you will get that this ad line that is your reference line and with respect to this reference line you have obtained position 1 2 and position 1 3 that is pole 1 2 and pole 1 3 okay now till this procedure we have used data that is length of link 1 
थीटा वन टू थीटा वन थ्री फाइव वन टू एंड फाइव वन थ्री ओके दिस मच डेटा वी हैव यूज ओके नाउ लेट्स गो फॉर द अदर डेटा दैट इज लेंथ नंबर टू ओके सो नाउ फ्रॉम लेंथ नंबर टू दैट इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग लिंक नंबर टू एंड दिस लेंथ नंबर टू शुड बी ड्रॉन एट एंगल थीटा ओके सो नाउ वी हैव टू स्केच लिंक नंबर टू विच इज मेजरिंग एंगल थीटा विद लिंक नंबर वन सो विथ रेफरेंस टू दिस हॉरिजॉन्टल लाइन ए डी ड्रॉ अ लाइन विच इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग योर लिंक नंबर टू विच इज मेजर विद द एंगल थीटा ओके एंड दिस विल नोटिफाई योर लिंक नंबर टू सो लेट्स कंसिडर दिस पॉइंट एज अ बी सो दिस ए बी इज लिंक नंबर टू ओके क्लियर अप टू दिस पॉइंट फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट बी जॉइन पी वन टू टू बी पॉइंट दिस वन इज योर रेफरेंस लाइन विच विच शुड बी ड्रॉन विद द डैश लाइन ओके सो नाउ जॉइंट योर पोल पॉइंट विद पॉइंट नंबर बी सो सिमिलरली योर पी वन थ्री विल बी कनेक्टेड टू योर बी पॉइंट and it will be case like this okay so in this way you can join your reference link number 2 that is link number 2 which is sketched with theta angle and it is connected with p12 and p13 okay now after getting this position now consider this angle as your alpha angle let's consider this one as your alpha angle which is representing which is representing the pole 1 to position Okay, so now measure this angle and take this angle with the same magnitude and draw a line with the same alpha angle with this P B line, P one to B line. Okay, so draw one dash line which is measured with the same angle alpha with your pole to B point. Okay, and this angle, if we consider over here as alpha, so similar angle alpha you have to sketch over here. Now the same position, the same procedure. That is for pole one three. If we have joined this with a point B, and if we consider that this angle is your angle beta over here, if you consider this one is your angle beta, so you have to take this beta as your reference angle, and with the same angle you have to sketch a line with your P one three B line. Okay, so draw a line which is representing the same angle beta over here, and it is extending. It is it can be extended over here, and this intersection point will give you the link number C. Okay, so over here you will get that uh, by extending this point you will get this link number C. Okay, so refer over here. So over here, if we consider that the your initial angle alpha. then your alpha angle with the same angle you have sketch a line which is represented like this and similar your beta angle for 1 3 position sketch a line with the same angle and you will get this intersection point and this intersection point is termed as point number c okay then after you will connect your b point with this c point and similarly your c point will be connected with the d point okay so in this way we can get the desired remaining data that is length of link number 3 and link number 4 which can be a length bc and length cd and then uh, by measuring the angle phi with this horizontal line you will also get the desired output angle that is phi okay so in this way with the help of three position synthesis method we can design four bar mechanism okay for two position synthesis method you can refer uh, my previous video in which i have explained the two position synthesis of four bar mechanism okay thank you